What's going on guys, Orza here and welcome back to a brand new video. So EA have released once again another Moments Player SBC and it is going to be Calvert-Lewin to review. It's a card that definitely has been upgraded a nice amount. If we are comparing him to his gold card, we are looking at a plus 8 to pace, a plus 11 to dribbling, a plus 12 to shooting, a plus 10 to passing, a plus 5 to defending and a plus 8 to the physicals as well. And they didn't just touch his stats, they also gave him a skill move upgrade and a weak fire upgrade so we are looking at calvin lewin with four star skill moves and four star weak foot he is also a six foot two player with high medium work rates and he is right footed now if we are looking at the chem style the engine chem style i feel like it's going to be the way to go like yes you could argue the hunter chem style will be very good on this card and i do agree right the hunter chem style giving him 98 acceleration and 99 sprint speed would be absolutely amazing for the pace it's just the engine chem style boosts up his agility boosts his balance and boosts his dribbling and for a six foot two player that is something i feel like you 100 percent are gonna need especially in that striker position so yeah that's the main reason i've gone for the engine chem style so the engine chem so I was giving this guy 93 acceleration with 98 sprint speed. So you know he's still going to be a very fast striker. Shooting stats. Keep in mind, we haven't touched it with a chem style at all. He's got 93 attacking positioning with 91 finishing, 90 shot power, 81 long shots, 87 volleys with a 90 penalties as well. Would have liked the long shots to be slightly higher, but hey, it is what it is. Has he got any shooting traits? He doesn't, but he does have the power header trait. And for a six foot two player with 99 jumping and 99 head heading accuracy that is very very good to have now his passing ability is looking like the average striker passer like eight short passing being good long passing being not so great it is what it is you're gonna have to keep it very simple with him dribbling ability wise he's got 92 agility 94 balance 90 reactions 90 ball control 96 dribbling with the 88 composure i'm telling you guys with the engine chem style applied he's dribbling stats for a six foot two player isn't bad at all now how what i want to know is how is he going to feel in game? And moving on to the physicals, we already read out the jumping and heading accuracy, but he has got 88 stamina with 91 strength and 86 aggression. 91 strength as a striker. It's going to be causing center backs issues. Let's just put it that way. Now, there are links for him. Club wise, it isn't anything amazing with the links, right? I think we can all agree that if you're going to have this Calvin Lewin card, you are most likely going to have a Premier League team around him. And that's what I've kind of done, let's say. I've got Wilfred Zaha and Ziyech to get him on full chemistry, but I've also got an icon there as well. Now, the positions, I am going to be playing Calvin Lewin in one position and one position only. I am going to play this guy in the strike position and a 4 4 2 formation. So let's get into the games and let's see how good this card is going to be. Push it forward there. There you go. Just give it back to Calvin Lewin. Go on. Use your pace now. Keep it going. There you go. Keep it going. Go on. Look at the strength as well. Ball roll there. Nice turn. Good strength again. I'm just going to pass back here because there really isn't any other option to go for. Can I give it to Zaha? No, I can't, man. That was actually really nice for me, man. The strength there, the hold of the player was really, really well played. Is he going to make a run there? He isn't. Ball roll scoop it. There you go. Good run. Really good run. Use your pace now. No, you can't get past Maldini there. I was kind of hoping him to use a bit of pace while also using his strength to hold off the player, but Maldini easily gets it. I might have just driven that into him. There you go. Nice little touch as well. Go for the finesse shot. It is on the four-star weak foot, and it is actually going to go into the back of the net. Now, I don't know what my opponent was doing. I think he may have been lagging because he wasn't actually controlling the defender, but we can't take anything away from that finesse shot. Little ball roll there. I do see a switch on. And we are going to go for it. It is ahead of the player as well. And it's actually a really nice pass. Could we maybe hit this towards the back stick here? Go on. Go on, Calvin Lewin. Nah, I just wanted to see if he was actually going to fight for it. And I wanted to see if he was actually going to get in front of the player and win it. Give it to him here. Nice little dummy. Keep going now. I could actually give that over to Mbappe. But I'm just going to keep accelerating. See what I can do here. Maybe create an angle. Nice little turn. You see his left stick dribbling. Like, you can definitely tell some of the touches, they aren't great. But... He can turn quite quickly for a six foot two player. And this guy's like holding me up, you know. He's not com committing towards me. He's waiting till apparently I take a bad touch and then going for the tackle. I mean, it is kind of smart defending. We'll roll this into the inside. I'm seeing what I could possibly do. I'm trying to focus up. Look at the dribbling, man. Can we get it? No. On the four star weak foot as well? Hmm. With those kind of shooting stats, I must admit. I'm expecting that to go in on that four-star weak foot. That's a disappointing shot. Coming to the inside. There you go, man. I knew he wasn't going to expect that one. Dummy it. Good 180 turn. Ball roll. 
Anyone going to give me an option? I kind of need a one-two here. Lacoqueta, we're round him. Left footer again, man, and it's going to go straight down the middle. It's disappointing shots right now with that four-star weak foot. I want it to go more into the corner. Is he not bringing out the keeper? He isn't bringing out the keeper. Okay, perfect time to test out Calvert-Lewin's heading ability. Green time does well, and it forces Donnarumma to make that save. He was, he was up against Kempembe as well, so it's not an easy header to win. But for Calvert-Lewin, it shouldn't be a hard header to win either. That is an amazing goal, man. The fact that he actually uh, was aggressive there up in the air towards the ball as well is exactly what I wanted to see. See if I can actually just get him in behind unexpectedly. There you go, man. Double ball roll. Keep it. Oh, my. I've overdone it. Oh, my God. I nearly did so well to create another angle to go for the, go for the sweat across goal to Mbappe. I wasn't expecting him to go onto the floor like that. Like, who slide tackles in that kind of occasion? Nice little turn, though. Should we go for it? Left-footed, green-timed. Yeah, he's not going to go on target. Kind of expected, though, especially with how his long shots actually are. I'm going to just give that down to Mbappe. First time. Turn him. Nice, good turn. Cross-goal finish as well. How is that not going towards the goal a bit more? Donnarumma, though. I'm telling you guys, Donnarumma today is apparently putting off some really, really nice saves. There's a lot of players behind the ball right now. I'm going to see if I can just get it to him there. There you go. Nice touches. I'm trying to like shield as much as possible. I've chipped it. I don't... Oh, that actually went in. I should have just shot that towards the near post. I saw him move the keeper last second. I am so surprised that's actually gone into the back of the net. But yeah, can you guys see? I'm trying to like use his shielding ability as much as possible. Trust me, he feels nice on the ball, but it isn't anything special, you know? It's not like you can quickly twist and turn the player inside out. You have to like use his shielding ability quite a lot. Give for the gap there. There you go. That's perfect. Extra pass. Nice little R1 dribbling. Good skill move as well. Great acceleration. Keep it going. And just green it across goal. And we easily get it there. That opportunity, that needs to go in. Especially with how well we've done to get him into that position. I'm just going to smack it up there. And just hope and pray Calvert-Lewin is actually going to win it. That's something that's going to be really, really nice on this card. The fact that he's got the 99 jumping. While him being also 6 foot 2 as well. Oh my god. It's like you can use him as like an outlet, let's say. Where if you're under pressure, let's say your, your opponent's on constant pressure, just literally smack the ball up to him and trust me, he will win it. This is 35 yards out, but definitely we're not going to shoot. He's got like 59 free kick accuracy. Well, we are going to go for a tactic. See if we can actually get him behind here. My opponent really hasn't read it correctly, let's say. And look at his chipping ability. I I'm blown away. Two chips now that I feel like shouldn't have actually gone in. Has flew into the back of the net. Touch it. Nice. Good shielding again. This is against Cordoba as well. Who we'll rolled that? Oh my god. I'm kind of surprised he went straight past me. And he's brought out the keeper as... Wait, 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 wait. So, so you're telling me he can score the two other chips. The two harder chips. But then as soon as it comes to pretty much a wide open chip, he misses it. How does that work out, EA? His movement in the striker position definitely is top tier, man. Like, you can tell by him consistently moving around that like, he's always trying to find the open space. Right here, shield it. Nice. Good R1 dribbling as well. Keep accelerating. And it should be, yeah, an easy goal. Still disappointed, though, with that shot. Did you see how close it came to the keeper? Like, that's a four-star weak foot. For me, that should be getting placed into the corner. I don't like how he went straight down the middle. Give it down to him. Fake that I'm going to go that way, then accelerate. Keep going. Against Cordoba as well. Look at the strength though, man. That strength is absolutely incredible. And that is what's going to cause, let's say, centre-backs troubles. Because if he does get in front of them, there's not going to be many centre-backs that's actually going to get ahead of him because of his shielding ability. Reverse Elastico. There you go. Can I get that over? Surely hit that first time, right? Yeah, there you go, man. Really nice header over Casillas. Not really a tall keeper, but we'll take it. Make a run there. There you go, man. You saw that gap. Nice little ball roll from Mbappe as well. Good touch, man. I could sweat this across goal, but that's no fun. We might as well ball roll the keeper there. So it is time to review. And we ended up playing three games with Calvert-Lewin. We actually scored eight goals, but we didn't come out with a single assist, which is kind of disappointing, but I guess it is what it is. Eight goals in three games is something we'll definitely take, though. But it could have been double-digit goals easily. If he's four-star week for actually wanted to put the ball into the back of the net in some clear-cut opportunities yeah we could have easily had double-digit goals but it just wasn't happening you see that future stars vlahovic card that i actually reviewed that card 
got a four star week for upgrade and it felt like a five star week for it honestly did with this card it's the complete opposite he got a week for upgrade but it feels like a three star week for i genuinely couldn't believe the four star week for shots it was going down the middle sometimes even missing the target i just don't believe it's a four star week for i don't feel comfortable especially with how many shots i had on it i didn't feel comfortable in that four star week for at all but the stronger foot was very, very nice. Believe in that stronger foot, as you should, right? It's an absolute bullet of a shot near enough every single time. It's just that four-star weak foot you're going to have definite issues with. Pace-wise, he was a fast player. Now, is he a player that can get ahead of players like Cordoba, players like Flashback Varan, players like Team and Honorable Mentions, uh, Rudiger? No. You, I could definitely tell those kind of players was actually catching up to him. I think we played Varane and Cordoba. I don't think we actually matched up against a Rudiger. But yeah, those two players, Varane and Cordoba, was easily catching up to Calvert-Lewin. It was a little bit annoying to see, but the one thing that I did like about him was the fact that he would use his pace to get him behind. If they did catch up, I would then go ahead and use that 91 strength. And what that 91 strength would do would put him into an instant animation to shield off the player. And that allowed me to take my time and decide what I wanted to do next. And that is something that I definitely really enjoyed on this card. Dribbling ability. The left stick dribbling is nice. You could clearly tell in certain angles he was turning quite quickly. But there definitely is other angles that you can notice when he's going for like a quick 180 touch uh, turn. You notice the ball go a little bit too far and his body is not going with the ball. So it allows the opponent to go in and go for the tackle. What I was doing over and over again is if I noticed that bad touch, I would go into the shielding animation and use that 91 strength over again, like over and over again. It was something that was a little bit annoying to work with, but once you get used to it, honestly, it isn't too bad at all. But yeah, kind of impressed with how his left, left stick dribbling actually was, but it still isn't anything top tier. And the physicals, the jumping, absolutely amazing. The heading accuracy, absolutely amazing. Stamina, yes, he lasted for the whole 90 minutes and I already spoke about the strength and the aggression was solid as well. Now the card is going for around 130k. It's a lot of coins. It is a lot of coins. Do I believe it's overpriced? I do, man. 130k is definitely overpriced, man. Like, this card for me, 80k would be nice. 80k would probably be solid. 130k, I feel like they definitely are asking for a little bit too much. But what you can possibly do with this card is use them as a super sub. Like, the links were obviously the club ain't anything amazing. If you're not rocking around with a Premier League team, it's pretty hard to link them up let's say so what you could possibly do is do the sbc and use them as a super sub and if you are struggling let's say 2-1 down 85th minute bring this guy on put him in that striker position and just cross the ball keep in mind he's a six foot two player with base 99 jumping and 99 heading accuracy with the power header trait so most likely he will score a header for you it's just yeah for me i definitely do believe this card is overpriced now where would he go in the attackers tier list he definitely is in an s tier do i believe he is an a plus with that how that four star weak foot was i don't believe i can put this card into the a plus i'm gonna be honest but i definitely do believe he sits comfortably into the a tier but i hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did make sure to leave a like make sure to leave a comment but for now peace